Do you know how to calculate measures of variability in R? In this video, we will learn how to calculate measures of variability in R language. Stay tuned to see some coding in R language. I am Shreesh and you are watching Learning Puri, a channel for applied learning. On this channel, I share with you tips and tutorials on data science, business management, marketing and personal development. We will use the same data from the tutorials on measures of variability that is range, IQR or interquartile range, variance, standard deviation to demonstrate how we will use our language to calculate these measures. Here as well, I have pre-written the code to save some useful time. So without further ado, let's begin. We will commence with the data set on month-wise sales for two teams. To calculate the range of the data, we identify the minimum and maximum values in each data set and subtract the minimum value from the maximum value, like so. Or we could simply use the range function and subtract the values using indexing to get the maximum and minimum values as seen over here. We could also get the values for computing range and IQR using the summary function. Additionally, IQR can be directly calculated using the IQR function. We will now run all these functions to see the output. We see the same values from the range function as we had seen when we had used the minimum and maximum values function. For summary, we see the first quartile as well as the third quartile being additionally described apart from the minimum and maximum values for that particular data set. The IQR yields us the interquartile range for this particular data set. For the variance, we use the built-in function var which uses the formula for the variance like so. The standard deviation is simply the square root of the variance and in R we use the function SD to calculate it. And now for the bonus step. We are now left with two more less used measures that is minimum absolute deviation and coefficient of variation. However, instead of providing you with single functions for them, I am sharing a package that will provide both these values. In addition to that, the package will also provide a whole list of descriptive statistics functions. For that, we need to first install the disk tools package using the install.packages command. To see how to do this, you could refer to the previous video in the link above. Once done, we need to invoke that package. Then, we use the mean ad function and the coef var function like so to get the mean absolute deviation and coefficient of variation respectively for the data. The desk tools package is a very rich package to obtain various other descriptive statistics. Let me know in the comments below what statistics you have managed to find by experimenting with the package. As always, do click the like button to like this video. If you are new here, consider subscribing by clicking on the subscribe button and do not forget to click the notification bell to notify you when I upload more such videos. Till the next time, stay healthy, stay peaceful.